Hey there, welcome to another episode of How the Heck Do I Do That with Canvas. Today's episode is How Do I Add People to My New Canvas Course. Here we go. Okay, now you want to add people to that course. So let's show you what you can do. Back here, find the word people here. Only I'm in this course. Well, we can add people by doing this and add their email address. So if I wanted to invite uh, Mark to look at my course since he's in charge and I want, of course, his professional opinion, I would spell his name correctly. Mark Barnes at BethelSD.org. And then uh, I'm going to let him actually be a teacher. So if he wanted to add, maybe this is a course that I'm building with him, he can now add information to this course by making him a teacher. If I only wanted him to uh, be a student who could take the quizzes, or I could make him an observer who could only watch the course. I could use any of those options. So I'm just going to make him a teacher, this one. Uh, click Next. It finds him, says, is this the person you want? Add user. A couple important things here. It's pending because he's got to accept the invitation. If you make a course and you invite your students, they will not have an invitation to the course on their iPad. Their invitation to their course will only show up on the desktop computer. Up here it will say enroll in this course. Or they have to log in to My Bethel on their iPad. And they don't know how to do this. Email is really for old people. It's not something they're familiar with anymore. They'd have to go to their Gmail. And right here, one of their first things that they got would be an invitation to enroll in the course. I honestly, if you look at a student's email through their Bethel email, They'll have like 134 unread emails, all from teachers and stuff, about assignments in Canvas. That's not the way they communicate anymore unless you teach them to do that specifically. So that's one way to add people. Uh, you can also do it by student ID number, right, if you know their ID number. What I did was I printed out a roster for uh, my advisory class. I copied and pasted just the, the column with all their student ID numbers. I pasted them in here and then I had to delete all the zeros, but that way I was able to add my entire advisory class just by pasting all their numbers right here. And that really is all there is to it, adding people to a new advisory course.